Hello everyone, Awesome Soul here. Today, I will be showing off something interesting. So, there have been some rumblings going on on the forums saying that hovers work really well with mech legs. So, I figured I'd give it a try. And, well, these are the numbers I came up with. So, which one is better, mech legs on their own or mech legs with hovers. That's what I'm here to find out for you guys. So first up, we will be doing a height test. Which combination, or lack thereof, can jump the highest? Now, first up, we have mech legs on their own. So how I've conducted the height experiment is I am standing in the exact same spot on the map for both tests with hovers and without, and I am positioning the gun in just a way that it acts as a marker of sorts. And this isn't the exact height, but it gives a pretty good demonstration. And next up is the hovers with the legs. So as you can see here, even at overclock one, it is a bit lower than just mech legs on their own. As well, when they are fully overclocked, they don't jump quite as high as when they're fully overclocked with just the legs. That is the one and only downfall of the hover combination. But as you will see, what they have to offer definitely makes up for it. So now we have the speed. If you look at the speedometer down in the lower left, you will see that it's going at around 74 miles per hour. And when crouched, it goes approximately 56. This is, of course, for just the legs on their own. However, with the hover blades equipped, the mech is able to go at approximately 80 miles per hour when walking, and when crouching, it goes at about 60 miles per hour. A pretty decent buff. Moving on, this is the long jump test. As usual, we are starting out with the legs on their own first. Now, jumping with the legs from overclock to overclock isn't a huge difference. However, as you will see with the hover combination, that's a different story. Now, starting out at overclock 1, the hovers in combination with the legs don't really offer too much of a difference. However, there is a slight difference at overclock 1, and as you're about to see, at overclock 13, well, it's a pretty massive difference, and that's one of the main reasons you're going to want to be using hovers. A super long jump. Well, super, as far as mechs go. And finally, we come to our fourth test. This is the mid-air control test. And, well, there's absolutely no competition here. Mech legs on their own, from a standing jump, can't change their movement mid-air. However, with hover blades, they are indeed able to do that. You can jump up and then go forward. You can back up. You can change your course mid-air if you're jumping forward and you don't want to overshoot your jump, you can easily pull back and end your jump prematurely. Again, this is another very big reason why you're going to be wanting to use hover blades on your mech. And to wrap things up, I have a handy dandy little info chart for you guys. On the left, we have the mech legs on their own, and on the right, we have mech legs in combination with hover blades. So if you do want a mech that can jump a bit higher, you're gonna wanna go with just the legs on their own. That is a bit useful for plasma bots. However, the difference isn't too large. As you can see, it's approximately 68 of the small tower markers, and with the combination, we have approximately 60 of these small tower markers. It's not a huge difference, 
but if you want to get over some of the larger terrain, it might help. Now, as far as movement speed goes when walking, with the combination, you're going to be going about 80 miles per hour, which is decently faster. So it would give you a slight advantage over other max. And then long jumping, this one, uh, well, it's pretty clear who won this one. 18 of the ground markers versus 26 with the combination. I'd say you're wanting to go with the combination if you want to jump a bit farther. This will also increase your overall movement speed because you can now jump a lot further and therefore get around a lot easier. And of course, mid-air control, again, no contest, just legs on their own, are not able to control themselves mid-air, but mech legs with the combination are. So with that, guys, with your newfound knowledge, go forth and make Max. Yeah, you get the idea. Anyways, I've been the Awesome Soul. I thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful in some way. I'll see you next time.